Now, not for the squeamish. First take two includes a short film about body piercing. Our tongues were swollen for about three days and we had to eat ice cream and soup for a while and had a bit of trouble talking, but uh, three weeks later we had our bath changed and everything's fine now. I think piercing came into mainstream fashion through Gaultier and even Thierry Mugler and Versace using fetish images on their Parisian and Milan catwalks. But here in London, I think we actually created it from the underground and we made it our own and we're part of the body art scene. Now, a couple of years ago, I was a poverty-stricken student who decided to sell his body to medical science. Well, I decided to do drug tests anyway. It was all fine and dandy. You got paid, you got fed, you got used to carrying your pee around in a jug until something went wrong, at which point it all got horribly legal. And I remember thinking at the time, you know, somebody should really make a film about this. Well, guess what? Somebody has. But it wasn't me. Damn. I've been on the road for two and a half years, so Drug tests are really handy when you're travelling. You can just sort of pick up a bit of cash and then go off and spend it and come back and find another trial and off you go again. I've seen an advert in The Big Issue um, which offered loads of money to basically take part in these trials. But I haven't actually made the decision to do it yet or got any further with it because everybody I speak to seems to just be putting me off all the time just saying that you're mad to do it and you're taking these things, you don't know what they are or what they'll do to you. Taking a medicine, and particularly a new medicine, is a balance of risks and benefits. And the objective of clinical research is to ensure that the risk-benefit ratio of any new medicine is firmly on the side of therapeutic benefit outweighing potential risks. Well, over the years, I've had a lot of requests for uh, the single by Mark Spencer and the cannibals, uh, usually from people who can't remember what it's called. Nothing takes the place of you. I mean, it's a brilliant song. It's one of those which I keep in my box for kind of regular play. It comes around about every 18 months just because it is a great version of a song. And he sings it amazingly. I mean, you could fall in love with him over that track. I can't remember who did the original one, but uh, it's a very fine version of it. And uh, rather out of keeping with the rest of the stuff that the band did, I think. Well, I've always sung, always. I've been singing since uh, I was able to sit on somebody's knee. Oh, Brooklyn was great. It was a great place to be brought up at that time. It was uh, very ethnic. Italians and, and Puerto Ricans. They used to be standing on the corners, you know, singing doo up, doo up, doo up, boom, 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 boom. Say, so like, you got God and you got the devil. The devil will always win because the devil is more powerful than the God in everything. I mean, there is some evidence that Hitler and the Nazis were into this sort of thing, uh, uh, and that this was part of their power base, having uh, deep occult practices. As pagans, we don't believe in Satan. Um, we, we personally don't really believe in good and evil as such. Oh, the weak, Lord! Those that are blind, Lord! Oh, Lord, those Jesus. that are poor! Lord, those that are homeless, Lord! You I was searching. I wanted to know what, what was metaphysical. Is there a supernatural? Is there a God? How did I get here? Why am I here? City, Lord! Let your name be lifted on high, Lord! Right, one day, yeah? See where the wall is over there. And then one. Jump round the uh, house, off the tiles, onto the top of there. When I'm stronger, a lot stronger. <sighs> he has ideas that he'd like to be a stuntman, and uh, I'd like to think that he could do that, but um, obviously it's a very competitive world, and I don't know how far he's going to be able to go with it, but I just wish him all the best. I think he's very clever. I think he's got a future in front of him. And I hope he chan channels it. We've got a talent, I hope he channels in the right direction.